The Elmer Family School of Electrical and Computer Engineering is the largest academic unit at Purdue and also one of the most impactful EC departments in the country. Our faculty are well known for taking the initiative to define the national agenda in many fields. Naming of the school is all about our people. This gift will really allow us to provide our people with a substantial, consistent and flexible support they need to create the future in research and education. The School of EC has changed a fair amount since I was there. The primary change that I see is the addition of the word computer. This is because computers are a part of everything we deal with today. They're in our cars, they're in our television sets, they're in our phones, and the software world is an important part of engineering now. Bill Elmore is one of the most legendary figures in technology investment. And this transformative gift from Elmore and family will allow many entrepreneurs and innovators in our Elmore Family School of ECE to pursue enterprise creation, patent generating new ideas. The Elmore gift will tremendously boost our ability to do the most innovative research in microelectronics and semiconductors. We're educating thousands of undergraduates every year to go to the pinnacle of excellence and continue that. Purdue needs to increase its capability in the areas of research and development. And that requires us to recruit the best faculty in the world and direct the best research dollars we possibly can to new research centers and institutes. There are pie in the sky ideas, right? Blue ocean, blue sky ideas that you may not be able to get funding for directly from agencies. And sometimes it's really important to be able to get started on that kind of work with some seed funding essentially from within the department or college uh, so that you can really demonstrate the, the capabilities of your ideas, which will then spin off into you know, larger funding opportunities. I broadly work in the field of control systems and autonomous systems. So this includes robotic systems that work on their own to achieve certain objectives. Because the research at Purdue depends so heavily on graduate students, one of the key things that we're excited to do moving forward is continue to recruit top talent from around the country. And having the ability to support those students in various ways is really critical to, to attracting those students and to enable us to tackle these grand challenge problems. That's the strength of Purdue, because we work together. We are also leveraging really strongly on a concurrent revolution that's happening together with quantum, and I mean a revolution in artificial intelligence. So the newly launched Frontiers Engineering Center, the Elmore Center of ECE, is actually dealing uh, with the frontier problems and challenges in the areas of both quantum and AI or machine learning. I work on the technology of semiconductor devices and the topic that I am most passionate about is um, wearable biosensors and uh, renewable energy because the application of semiconductor devices to these two technologies is likely to transform the way we consume energy, global warming and all, and the way healthcare is administered for uh, the people around the world. Our colleagues go from very foundational uh, research uh, from quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, all the way to the most uh, important applications of the current day. The nature of my leading research project is, first of all, I work in what's called wireless communications. And uh, the things I work on had different names for the years. Every few years they have to give it a fancier name. But as far as the students that are working on a master's degree or a PhD, we're, we're meeting them regularly, going over the research, which is usually often computer simulation based, or and sometimes we also have experimental facilities. I'm very lucky to be here at the Elmore Family School of EC, and our reputation bears a lot of fruit in terms of having a very strong research program, and we just have really good students that come here from all around the world. One of my most critical projects is in the integration of MEMS, or Microelectromechanical Systems, with CMOS, or Standard Integrated Circuits, that are used in your microprocessor. We try to make new devices and enable new hardware that lowers the barrier to entry for MEMS devices, like resonators for oscillators, frequency sources, filters, and sensors into standard IC technology, integrated circuit technology. 
I personally love working here at Purdue primarily because of the collaborative nature of the research that goes on here. I've had successful collaborations with folks in material science, in circuit design, and even in biomedical applications uh, that can leverage our technology and our devices. You know, I'm quite a bit involved these days in uh, machine learning and neuromorphic computing. Uh, really interested in you know, learning how the brain works, though even, even though we're not really working directly on any measurements from the brain, but we are working with neuroscientists and really trying to get cues from uh, neuroscientists, the research that they do. And based on that, we're trying to develop uh, new computing models, artificial intelligence, machine learning kind of models that can potentially solve difficult problems we are actually developing new algorithms that are suitable for these kind of hardware. And we are co-designing not only the algorithms but also the hardware together to make it not only latency but energy efficient. Big data technologies have dramatically changed the world we live in and in double quick time. And the life force that leads to great research discoveries is great students in our labs. Undergraduate students, master's students, PhD students. Purdue EC, being one of the largest EC programs in the country, has a very deep bench here at all levels of the degree program. And our curricular structure is set so that the students can engage with research deeply and widely. We're focused on three goals. First, to advance the frontiers of knowledge. Second, to have transformative impact on society. And third, to propel the Elmore Family School of Electrical and Computer Engineering to new heights. I believe that at the intersection between the virtual and the physical sides of engineering, between the bytes and the atoms, between what we code and what we touch, uh, will be further accelerated thanks to the generous gift from Bill. I'm often asked why I gave back to the school of ECE, and a couple of answers there. One is it fits my philanthropic profile, which is I'm interested in education specifically STEM education, and also the education of first-generation college students, especially women. But another answer is, I don't think of it as much as giving back as paying it forward. And I hope this gift will inspire other people to do their best work, do their best research, do great things, and in the future, give back to Purdue or the institution of their choice. Mm -hmm.